Hello, my lovely Geminis. Welcome to your 2020 yearly reading. Happy New Year to you, my lovely Geminis. This is a general reading for Gemini Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. It is a yearly reading. For those of you that are new to the channel, I do this each year and I have a 12 card spread and each month is represented by a card and I look at the energies for that month. I have a second deck and I, as I do read for each month, I will select another card or get another card from the deck which will give me more detail and depth to that month. So it is a general reading but it gives you an overview of 2020 and the energies, it is about the energies that you have to work with for each month in the year. If you would like to book a private reading, a private yearly reading, private yearly reading um, for 2020, you can go to my website and I do offer for the month of December and January only the opportunity for you to have your yearly spread done that's going to be specific to you. So if you'd like to do that, you can go to my website and you can book your yearly reading from there. It is only available for December and January, so make sure you get in quickly and you will get a pre-recorded yearly projection. I'd like to thank you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing and for commenting on my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much, my lovely Geminis. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button below and the bell so that you will be notified whenever I place new videos for you to watch. So let's see what 2020 has in store for you, my lovely Geminis. Come up with January. So we've got January and you've got the Six of Cups. And for me, this puts a smile on my face because I just feel like the energy that comes from this, it's about tapping into that inner child, tapping into that playfulness. So January is about being playful. It's about being spontaneous. It's about being carefree. It's about living in the now. So don't get caught up with, with thinking about the future or the past or it's just about being present and I feel like there's uh, being around younger people, younger children um, to connect and to be, you know, get you out and about and playful, being playful, being energetic, living in the now and enjoying the moments that you have now. So January is really going to be about joy. It's just going to be about joy. And I so like that energy around you. Um, it's about being carefree. For you um, and you know you've got here the, the card I've got for you is the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is about in that joy it's about dreaming and moving forward making plans following your life's purpose so in that joy and in that living in the now you you're really going to uncover or work out what your life purpose is, where you're headed, what you're wanting from life, what changes you're wanting to bring in. I really like that. I really, really like that. You know, the, the, the Knight of Wands is about things happening quickly. And so living in the now, things will um, come to you quickly, will unfold quickly in January. And I also feel like the month of January is going to go by really quickly for you. I feel like there's just this speed that's happening in January, which is really interesting. Then comes February, and in February you've got the four of coins. And I want to say to you, what are you saving for? In February you're going to decide, I'm saving for some, I'm saving for a holiday, a house, um, whatever, a, a, a gift to myself, a big purchase. You're, you're counting your pennies, you're saving your pennies. Money is coming in, but it's almost like I want to say you're putting yourself on some sort of budget or some sort of restrictive spending um, because the, there's um, planning towards something. There's planning towards something which I really um, is going to be really beneficial to you. Um, 
and it's January that that gives brings light to this brings light to this you've got the nine of pentacles so that tells me too that you're 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 saving your money but money's coming in so you are earning your earning capacity is there money is coming in it is coming to you through work through your work um I want to say for many of you that financial drought is over. That's what I want. That's what my guides are telling me here. But money is coming to you. But it's not about oh, I'm getting all this money and I'm going to start spending it. It's about saving some. Put yourself on a. It's about putting yourself on a budget. And you do come to that realization in February. So money, money is is flowing. Money is there, but you're you're saving for some something. You've come to some sort of. So February is going to be about finances for you. February is going to be about finances for you. In March, you've got the Five of Cups. It's the Five of Cups. And so what are you needing to leave behind? What are you needing to turn your back on? What are you needing to stop thinking? About? There's, an old, there's old patterns of thinking. There's old situations. There's... Time spent reflecting on the past, um, time spent regretting something or, or, you know, life's regrets. I should have done this. I could have done that. You know, if only I'd done this, if only I'd done that, uh, if only they'd done this or that. You know, there's, there's things that you regret that you are looking back on. And so come March, you're going to, it's going to be a time of looking back on something looking back on something but also understanding that there is a future it's time to leave that in the past so it's going to be a little bit of an emotional releasing month in March an emotional releasing time in March but you've got the page of wands and you know this is going to help you realize what it is you do want what it is you want to plan for. So I feel like you need to go through this to release whatever is holding you back because you are also going to want to plan for your future. There's some planning that you're making and this is about planning something for you, something that you're doing for yourself, for your well-being, for your own benefit um, and it's reflecting on the past and how things have been what needs to be released and you know because you've got two full cups behind you which tells me that there's there's things to build on there's things to move forward on and so you do decide in March to okay I'm planning this I'm moving forward I'm doing something I'm planning something uh, that is for me that is for my benefit that is for my well-being so there's that realization in March there's that realization in March and then you've got the six of coins and in April you're back on track you're back on track um, the scales are balanced you are earning money so it's money in money out you're, you're spending on something you're spending on something in in um, April so where are you going what are you doing what are you buying? What are you, you know, it, so this, this cautious caution in February and saving your pennies has come to a point where now you're deciding, okay, well, I've got this money and I'm going to spend part of it. I'm going to do something with it. I'm, I'm planning to do something um, exciting, something exciting. You've got the Hierophant here. And this is a wise man. This is a wise man. So it's something that you do that you've planned to do you've organized it it's been it's on a chess on a chess board and so it's about um also something spiritual i want to say as well so are you getting some sort of inspiration or thoughts on this from your intuition or a spiritual sort of sense but i feel like it's time for you to uh, outlay for something in April the month of outlaying it's like it could be you know I want to say well here's my plans I've planned to do this now it's time to act on it in wisdom in wisdom and you do a good job of it because come May you've got the Emperor in total control everything's falling into place everything is as it should be everything you want is there the Emperor is used to being listened to the Emperor is confident 
the emperor doesn't doubt that what he wants is not going to work. It's all going to fall into place, um, which I really like with money, with finances, with happiness, with all aspects of your life, all aspects of your life. And so there's courage in moving forward here. So you're moving forward on your plans, on your dreams, on what you're wanting uh, in your life, in your year. It's going to be a real energy. It's going to be a real force and an energy of confidence. And I'm just going to move forward with this. It's, there's no doubts here. You're going to feel really confident and really assured, really sure of yourself. I really like that um, that's coming through in May. Strong month. May is going to be a really strong month. June, you've got the five of wands, and this is playful energy. This is playful energy. This is this is being uh, supported. So you, whatever plans you're making, whatever you're doing in June, the energy around you is one where you're going to be supported by friends and family and loved ones uh, in whatever it is you're planning to do, whatever it is you're, you've got underway, whatever it is you want to have unfold. But it's going to be a real... Um, a really playful energy in June that's around you. Um, so it's not about being serious. It's just about being um, very playful, very, very playful. Oh, see, my cards just went everywhere, which is really, it's about, you know, I almost want to say throw caution to the wind in June. You know, my cards just went, woof, throw caution to the wind in June. Um, you know, you've got the four of wands here. So it's it's about it's about being playful, throwing caution to the wind. This is a commitment of some sort. This is a celebration of some sort. So there's some sort of celebration that's coming up for you in June um, with others. You're it's 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 in a group situation. It's a group situation. There's other people around you, um, and there is some sort of celebration um, around you. For some of you, it's a celebration of a union, building a home. Um, for some of you, it's just a, a party sort of celebration. It's a part. There's a party feel. There's a party feel um, around you with friends and with family, um, and there's that playful banter. There's that playful connection there. So it really is. Um, June is an interesting month. It's a joyous month where there's. Um, good things coming your way. I like it. I like it. July. July you've got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups is a journey over water, uh, going across the oceans, across the water. It could also be emails, texts, communication from a distance to loved ones or someone you have a, a heart connection to, a family, a significant other, children, whoever that is for you, but there is a, um, like a, something to do across water. For some of you, it's a journey across water. For some of you, it's a business or work across water or across a sudden distance uh, that's there for you in July um, as well. It's, and for some of you, I want to say it's about having the courage to, to move forward on a relationship to, to progress and to move forward in a relationship. So there's a lot to do with emotion in July, a lot to do with the emotions, um, with intuition um, and moving forward and moving forward, which is interesting because you crossed with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands is a completion of the difficulties. So with this moving forward, it's a moving forward um, and taking with you what you've learnt in the past and moving it into the future on an emotional level. So for some of you, if you're starting a new relationship or you're moving on from a relationship or your relationship is reaching another, a, a, a deeper connection, through difficulties you've both grown and strengthened your connection. Um, for some of you, it's about looking at what you've learned from past relationships and, and taking with you only what you've learned, the wisdom in a new relationship. So it's about love. Um, connections in July. It's about love collect, collect connections and coming to a realization of how how much you've learned, how far you've come. And for some of you, it's about journeying over water as well. Um, I like that. I like that. 
Okay, August. August, you've got the Empress. In August, you're going to be able to manifest whatever it is you're wanting. Uh, it's the birth of a child, you know, this is, this is the birth of a child, but it can be the birth of a new idea that is going to bring you abundance, that is going to bring you uh, satisfaction, that is going to bring you everything that you have hoped for. So in August, you're really able to, um, if you've got a new project you want to get underway, if you've got a new um, stage in your life that you want to start, it's going to be very successful. So anything that you undertake in August is going to actually be very fulfilling and very successful. So it doesn't matter what you plan in August, what you plan to do or how you plan to do it, there is going to be success around it. So there is success there for you. And it's about, I've got two cards here and I'm going to give you two cards. You've got strength. It's about being strong, being determined and having faith that everything is going to work out. Uh, for some of you, it's going to be risk taking, but have the strength and the courage to take those risks because they're going to be beneficial. It's going to work out well for you. Um, for others of you, it's about um, having that determination not to give up, to keep going, to put things in place. And the, the second card that I got here was the emperor. And the emperor is, is a really strong being. You've You've had the emperor in the other deck up here in uh, May, which is really interesting because the emperor is showing up again for you in all, in September. No, in August, sorry. The emperor is showing up again for you in August and it's about being in control, being um, successful, being listened to. Um, being having the finest of everything, the best of everything. And that's what the Empress is telling you too. So you've got the masculine and the feminine and a real balance. So whatever you're going to undertake, get those plans going. August is going to be a really good month to do that because the energy is going to be so good for you in moving forward. I like it. Then you've got September. And September, you've got the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is dare to dream. It doesn't matter how many goals and how many uh, projects you get underway, how many goals you set. Um, the more you set, the more you're going to um, follow through to fruition, the more are going to work for you and be successful. So from the energy that's coming from August in September, it sets you up to, to plan, to fulfill your dreams what do you want to achieve how do you want to achieve it what do you want to put in place you're going to feel really positive about um, your ideas and your goals so don't be afraid to set them in September because that's going to be you know you've got the Queen of Wands so it's about really being courageous it's about being courageous it's about being confident it's about don't mess with me so whatever it is you want to put in place just go ahead and do it because the energy is going to be really behind you. It's going to be um, really pushing you forward to create what you, the future you're wanting to create, to set you up. I feel like setting this is going to set you up for 20, 2021. Um, it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? 2021 already. It will set you up with that. You've got some pretty powerful cards in 2020 um, in setting things up <clears throat> I like that and in October you've got um, <clears throat> the, the four of swords and it's about taking time out October you're going to feel a little bit flat you're going to feel tired you're going to feel exhausted you're going to feel like you need to take a break um, and so you need to really honor the self and look after your well-being and take a break take a rest um, take time out do something nice have a massage um, have go for walks, yoga, uh, just stay in bed, you know, have a, a weekend where you're just doing nothing, uh, watching your favourite movies and just relaxing because I feel like your energy is going to be quite low in October. So you need to be mindful of that. Be mindful of colds and flus and, you know, just feeling a bit yuck. Um, so watch your health, eat well and take 
the time when you start to feel exhausted, take the time out to rest so that it doesn't get in, you know, you're not getting a really bad cold. You, you're really looking after the self. So it's about looking after the self in October and taking time out when you do feel exhausted because your energy is going to feel a little bit flat in October, in October, okay? But having said that, you know, and, and it's it's quite possible taking time out is going to give you time to reflect. It's going to give you time to think about what you want to create, what you want to manifest because the magician is the master of manifestation. And when you are relaxed, when you're tired, you can't think clearly. So take the time out to recuperate your energies because you will also in October um, have the ability to manifest and draw to you what it is you're wanting in your life, what it is you want to create in your life. So utilize that time. Withdraw a little bit. Calm things down so that you can manifest cl with clarity what it is you want to bring into your life. So then we have November. You do well in October. You really, you really do because come November, you're ready to go. You're full of strength. You're full of determination. You're full of go get sort of energy. Um, it's it's really strong. It's determined. It's and I like you know what I'm seeing is this straight arrow for what it is you want, what you want to achieve, and where you're headed. Um, what results you're expecting and having the strength to carry through your plans and ideas um, as, as to what you want to manifest and so it's really about rolling up your sleeves and let's get going let's manifest what it is I want to manifest um, because that's going to be really important okay again you see you've got this playful energy so while you've got that determination it's also about this is about having a playful energy but also taking on new roles taking on new responsibilities um, <clears throat> and being able to bring to you what it is you're wanting what it is you're desiring I like that don't forget to keep it playful don't forget to keep it fun as well in um, in November so don't, it's not all work it's also about you know those puppet shows that kids used to watch and bring them joy and be playful as well. Okay, December, new beginning, new learning, new skills, new plans, uh, new projects. There's a new start. This is going to tip you over into 2021 um, to bring in everything that you have been working towards, Any, everything that you've been working towards. Um, which I really like. <clears throat> For some of you, it's new study. For some of you, it's an accumulation of new knowledge and new skills. For some of you, it's a new business. For some of you, it's um, coming back to something but doing it differently. It's what I'm hearing, which is really bizarre. Um, which is really bizarre but you've also got the king of wands and again this is about your creativity it's about enthusiasm it's about your life's purpose this is where you're headed uh, with your life's purpose spilling you over into 2021 you I feel like you're going to be unstoppable come December you're going to be absolutely unstoppable as far as new things coming into your life which I really like. It's really exciting. It's quite an interesting year that you've got here. A lot of new things coming in for you, a lot of new ways of looking at things, dealing with things. So I'm drawing a card from the Angels of Abundance for you. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Let me do that. Okay, let's concentrate. Angels of Abundance. Let's see what they have here for you. Ah, bountiful nature. Bountiful nature. How nice. Let's have a look. This is going to give you an overview of your year. Um, 
what are the key what's the key element for 2020 spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of god's infinite abundance go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet meditate beneath a tree garden sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness and that's this playfulness that's come up for you in November but it's also come up for you in January so that's interesting beginning and the end of the year um, because I feel like that's a key thing for you my lovely Gemini's that playful happy sort of self and when you are like that your vibration increases and that energy that's coming in for you is is really increasing there's I feel like 2020 is going to be a year that's going to be quite action-packed it's going to be filled with a lot of different activities a lot of different things a lot of different projects and I feel like there's a lot of movement um, and there's a lot of newness coming in in 2020 for you new ways of doing things new ways of seeing things new ways of understanding things um, and finances are certainly going to be there <clears throat> as an undercurrent if you like for you so I really like that I really like that so I hope that you've enjoyed this um, 2020 spread uh, for for you if you would like to book a private reading with me for your yearly projection you can follow the link below to my website and you can book from there I wish you all a prosperous happy and adventurous 2020 Many blessings to you, my lovely Gemini.